Yeah, th this is a, a, a success story, really, um, about um, an important transformation in, in the Swedish welfare state. And it's, um, it's focusing on Försäkringskassan, which is a Swedish agency, um, the Swedish social insurance agency. Because um, we've, um, so, so I'm going to talk um, a little bit about um, about us at Transformator Design, um, uh, because some of the, I think the, the keys uh, to the success um, lays in there. So I'm going to stop on that. Not that much about our process, but <clears throat> then I'm also going to talk about um, like three of the projects, um, pretty briefly that that we've done um, in this in this partnership over the last few years. And, uh, and also the, the results and um, the, the positive effects that's uh, um, measurable and, and, and quantifiable. Um, yeah. <clears throat> exactly. Uh, so about Transformator and, um, and user-centered service design. Uh, this is me and, and uh, Anton and my colleagues here up on the screen. Um, all of us. And um, as you see with the color ring things that I added, um, uh, most of us are service designers. We have a little bit of different backgrounds. Um, some industrial design, some from marketing, some engineers, some business um, developers. Um, but uh, we're service designers, but we also have a few uh, business developers uh, and, uh, and also <coughs> account directors that are uh, also with us in the projects. Um, <clears throat> and uh, this, this is why, why we go to work in the mornings. This is our mission, uh, our, our company's mission. It is together with our clients. Thank you. I don't know if it's going to help, but <laughs> I'll try. Thanks. I wasn't ahead of you. It's really nice to help. <laughs> uh, together with our clients, we make Sweden better. We used to say a little bit better, but then we changed it. We're a little bit more confident. <laughs> uh, by creating services that customers choose, love, and, and recommend. <clears throat> and um, we are growing um, really fast, pretty much doubled in size over the last year and a half. And uh, Sweden is, is uh, service time is really a growing market in Sweden. Um, and uh, uh, what I really want to emphasize here is, um, <clears throat> is the number of customer interactions uh, that we're doing every year. Uh, just this year alone, we did 3,500 customer interactions, which uh, I've used a calculator uh, because that's an abstract number, maybe. Um, so that's this year only, uh, and that's 2,625 hours um, of, um, of conversations with end users, with customers, uh, which, which uh, translates into, if you like, translate into like eight hour working days, it's 328 business days. Um, this year alone, so we it's an important part of our process to to really uh, get there and get the, the user perspective. Uh, we also have done a lot of cases this this year. Um, we um, we've done 41 projects, <coughs> and um, um, yeah, th this is uh, we hear our clients uh, come to us um, because they say stuff like this. We don't see the effects of more organizational change um, or, or more process re-engineering. We used to see effects when we worked like this, but now it kind of fizzled out. <clears throat> Is the solution really to work more with the same thing? And uh, um, this isn't news this year. Um, my CEO, Daniel, I think showed this slide last year. Maybe it was more news then, but I, I want to say it again. Because you know, since the Industrial Revolution, where where it was where businesses worked with pr production optimization, um, that was that's how they became more efficient, how they became better, uh, which they still are, of course. But in the 70s, um, they noticed that we have to start working with dis distribution optimization, <coughs> and then in the 80s and 90s, um, a new paradigm uh, came with being more efficient looking at processes and organization and optimizing that. Uh, but now really, and in Sweden, it's very clear, uh, we're, we're in a new paradigm, uh, paradigm uh, which is all about customer centricity. 
Um, this is uh, <coughs> some of our clients, and um, you guys from Sweden probably recognize um, all of them, and uh, you outside of Sweden might not recognize that many of them. But it's, it's a, a very wide array of clients that we have, both in public and in private sector. And uh, yeah, for example, uh, telecom, taxis, banks, um, um, monopolized uh, alcohol um, selling store that we have in Sweden, and uh, um, healthcare, uh, etc. And um, <clears throat> today, this transformation that I'm going to talk about now is, is the one that, uh, that one of our like, dearest clients um, um, have gone through. Uh, it's the Swedish Social Security uh, Insurance Agency, I mean. Uh, and uh, they, um, yeah, I can, I can uh, tell a little bit about um, what they are. Because Swedish people, you, you definitely have encountered them and you know exactly what, what Försäkringskassan does and how customers um, Notice them sort of were affected by this agency. But uh, for the rest of you, for most of you, um, their role is to administer social insurance and ensure that, uh, that the citizens um, get the benefits and allowance that, that you're entitled to. Um, and, and they, um, they consist, uh, they, it's 6% uh, of the Swedish um, uh, gross domestic product goes through Försäkringskassan, just to give you some proportion sort of here. <clears throat> and a little bit of history, looking back a little bit about this agency, how, how it's formed. Um, let's go back almost 100, or let's go back 100 years, where uh, um, Sweden had national pension uh, for everybody uh, in Sweden. Um, and, um, and then at, at 1948, um, uh, Sweden first introduced a child allowance for yeah, getting money from the state when you had kids, basically. Uh, and then also in 55, uh, where, where um, public uh, sickness compensation was, was introduced. Um, and also uh, in, in the 70s, where, uh, where uh, parental insurance, or where, where parents get money if their kids get sick, or when, uh, when parents get money um, when their kids are really are young, uh, so like when when you're pregnant and when you give birth, when you want to stay home with, with your baby, uh, you get um, uh, money from the state for that. Uh, and more lately, in 2005, Försäkringskassan, this agency that, uh, that I'm talking about here, they became centralized. So instead of being in the different regions of Sweden, they became centralized. And uh, in, in 2007, they, they started the largest um, reorganization um, ever in, in Swedish um, public history. <clears throat> and if, if we look at, uh, at Försäkringskassan in, in 2010, uh, which is when, when we started having a dialogue with, with this agency, uh, it, it was um, um, there's a lot of customers that they were really annoyed at this agency. There is uh, um, a lot of co complicated forms, um, a lot because <clears throat> when when they centralized the agency, um, they uh, took in a lot of lawyers and made the forms really a proof, and they, they were able to unify these different uh, um, different Försäkringskassan into one. Uh, but uh, a lot of this bureaucracy um, was um, became touch points in, in people's lives. And, th and this is a quote uh, that, that is very typical: that you have to be a politician to to even understand the forms. Um, which kind of says something about, uh, yeah, how, how it was in 2010. <clears throat> and um, it, uh, yeah, it, it, it uh, covers, I mean, all of this historical um, entitlements uh, is, is what they offer. And uh, uh, um, in 2010, as well as today, <clears throat> the Swedish Social Insurance Agency covers everyone that lives or works in Sweden. Uh, it provides financial protection for families and children, for persons with disabilities, uh, and also in connection with work injuries, uh, with illness, or with old age. Um, yeah, and uh, when we um, we can look a little bit about the burning platform, I guess that that motivated um, Försäkringskassan to to take us in and, and to, to to use our help. 
because in, in 2010, the, the numbers, the, the like key figures, the, uh, the key KPIs that, that they're working with, which is uh, trust, for uh, and Svenska, customer <coughs> uh, satisfaction in meetings, uh, and, uh, and uh, general customer satisfaction were, were, were going down. <coughs> Uh, and uh, it's really important for for um, for this type of agency to have trust um, in order to to continue to exist and, and function in a good way. Um, yeah. <coughs> uh, this is an overview of of the projects that we've done with Försäkringskassan over over the last years. And. Uh, um, Uh, it's 11 projects in total, um, and then this grey arrow uh, represents uh, like an ongoing dialogue that, that we, we've had since 2009-2010 um, and then still have, of course. Um, but uh, I don't have all the time in the world, so I'm not going to be able to go through all of these projects. But uh, uh, I've selected three of them, one from the earlier, earlier projects that we did. Um, <clears throat> which I'm gonna kind of dive into a little bit, um, uh, and and then also, sh yeah, show some some um, just a few insights and um, and concepts from there. Um, I'm also gonna dive into a more uh, a more strategic project that we did, uh, and and finally also talk about um, um, a more a, a project where uh, that's more about organizational change as well. Uh, <coughs> before I talk about the, the effects and the results and, uh, and that stuff. So uh, one of the very first projects we, we did, um, together with uh, Försäkringskassan, uh, was uh, um, we were asked to, to look at the process of parental leave, both when, when, you, have, when you have a baby, uh, but also temporary um, parental leave if your kid gets sick and you stay home from work and you get compensation for that. Uh, from a user perspective, what, what is it all about? Um, how does the customer journeys look like? We have a lot of data, but what's the key insights here? Um, pretty traditional service time project. <coughs> Before I go in, we, uh, we did uh, 110 customer interactions in this project. Um, And uh, here's um, a few pictures that I, that I took out from the kind of ins uh, insight section uh, of, of the of from this project. Um, and uh, uh, th th there's very very much individual flows on uh, their websites. Uh, for example, uh, it was based on the father logging in and doing something, or the mother logging in, but. Um, it was very clear uh, when we started to understand the customer perspective on this that this is really a family matter, and uh, um, it's uh, it's it's a collaboration. Uh, it's also a, a negotiation a lot. When when your kid gets sick, it's uh, uh, it could be an argument, or maybe it's just rock paper scissors about whose meeting is most important, who is it that's going to stay home with the kid, and who can go to work, sort of. Um, <coughs> And, um, and, and yeah, it, it was a very complicated process with, uh, with a lot of complicated forms that needs to, which this kind of illustrates. Um, so if your kid gets sick, for example, you had to fill out the form and, uh, or find a form, print out the form, all that, and, and bring it, uh, send it in both to the agency, but also to the childcare place that needed to sign it. And yeah, that, this is true, the kid isn't here. Uh, it was really complicated. Uh, so that's some of the insights from the project. And here's um, uh, some of the concepts that we, that we uh, recommended um, and uh, like illustrated. Um, and uh, it's um, uh, uh, a new way of thinking about the website. Um, we didn't do user experience type of, uh, I mean, graphic user interface and stuff, just enough to, to give the vision. Like this is, um, this is just a Photoshop sketch. Um, uh, we we don't, we're, we can't program at all at Transmotor, but uh, it was enough to create a vision. Ah, you should be able to, to to have a shared login basically, and 
um, it should be easy to, to let, yeah, I'll let the, the father of the baby um, share this login and, uh, and also uh, really help, uh, help the parents to, to plan um, in calendar mode. And as well as uh, um, you should not have this <laughs> weird form anymore that needs to go around. The process should just be like you report it directly to the agency and the agency contacts the, 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 the um, um, kindergarten <clears throat> and the kindergarten con does this backstage. This, this shouldn't even uh, reach the end users. Uh, and then uh, uh, the parent should get a confirmation that it's, that is fine. And uh, we had some um, app, early app ideas, um, but then uh, we weren't the agency that, that, did, that um, did out the app, that designed the whole app experience, but uh, this was one, one of the first early sketches on it. Um, and uh, this uh, became uh, news in the newspaper. <clears throat> and it also included a law change, because uh, there's, there's laws providing this design to be implemented. Uh, so the news was that uh, the government um, um, yeah, takes the decision to scrap this paper certificate and makes this law change. Uh, and it, um, it's, it has increased uh, customer experience a lot, but it's also saved um, two and a half um, million euros uh, for, for the agency. Okay, so here's uh, like a year later, sort of. <clears throat> uh, where we were asked to We've done a couple of customer journeys. We looked at specific situations, um, helped them come up with uh, improvements. But uh, hey, some of these behavioral types keep reoccurring, and some of these customer journeys have a lot of similarities. Can't you help us to, to make a general customer journey and to get an understanding on a whole, uh, across our whole agency? Um, so I'll talk a little bit about this project after I drink some water. <clears throat> um, yeah, and we were also asked to combine um, insights from the previous projects that we have done as well, um, uh, of course. And, uh, and we, we, uh, we looked at a, a general customer journey map format and we developed that. Uh, but also tested it on a, on a specific um, customer process, uh, which is about getting aid for, um, for expensive healthcare. <coughs> Just to kind of test it out, to see, does it float, sort of. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, there's another customer quote from, from this uh, project where, uh, just to hear like the assumption, like for Shacking's Kassan, oh, then it will be troublesome. Uh, which is uh, also uh, kind of illustrates the, the, the mindset a lot of people had about towards this agency. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so we, we defined strategies um, for Fischakens Kassan and we made them actionable. We, uh, um, uh, we uh, mapped the strategies towards the customer journey because all strategies aren't relevant in all parts of the customer journey. <clears throat> and we also um, mapped, um, um, yeah, we, we mapped them to the customer journey and we also um, designed concrete examples on how to apply these strategies so that they're not just fluffy words uh, for, for high management. Uh, and uh, we illustrated them with uh, either like the touch point design or with um, explanatory models. And uh, this is one of these explanatory models for how this CRM system um, sh um, should work, basically. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so th this is the last kind of case uh, dive in and I'm gonna do before I wrap it up. Uh, and this is, um, yeah, we call it general service blueprint. Um, and uh, I mean, as we heard in a, in a lot of talks uh, here at this conference, we, um, we know the customer journey map is, is a really powerful tool for, for organizations to, to really understand 
their service from, from the customer's point of view. Um, and in this, this project, um, Försäkringskassan asked us to, to, to help them create um, a service blueprint and to, to help them develop improvements uh, also behind the scenes um, uh, that, that would uh, impact the customer experience, of course. And, uh, and also to involve their staff and to teach Försäkringskassan how to uh, innovate themselves as well. <coughs> um, yeah, I think this next one is more fun. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, um, we involved staff from all across the organization. And we, uh, we led um, a series of workshops where we uh, um, yeah, started from the customer journey maps and digging down uh, behind the scenes. What's, what's really happening here? When, when, uh, why does it take six days for, for the, the, um, the citizens to get an answer here? Um, and since we had um, a good selection of, of members in these workshops, uh, with frontline staff and, and supporting s supporting staff, uh, we we were able to to start this uh, pretty advanced mapping uh, and, and create this uh, this service blueprint of uh, based on their general customer journey. Um, and uh, I mean it's gr it's great to to involve um, people in uh, and th these are some of the idea format sort of when, when from the ideation uh, workshops or innovation workshops we had. And it's, uh, uh, it's great to, to take frontline staff, for example, because they have so much knowledge. And when you give them the right tools, uh, they can be super creative. And it's just a really efficient way of working. Uh, but it's also a good way uh, of engaging uh, the organization as well. <coughs> Here's um, some of the results. So this, this is the, the deliverable uh, of the service blueprint. Um, had a couple more add-on pages with um, the improvements and stuff like that, but um, that's pretty much how, how the service blueprint looked like and that they're um, working with um, still. And we also developed a kit, a, t a toolkit, a workshop kit sort of, for how to uh, gather up um, a few colleagues and, uh, and have a much more efficient meeting uh, where you actually uh, create, create improvements that will um, impact customer satisfaction. Um, yeah, along with a PowerPoint as well. Uh, and uh, <coughs> yeah, so now we, we looked at, at a few of these projects and we've done even more um, during these last three years uh, with Försäkringskassan. But uh, let's look a little bit at, about what uh, um, now and then sort of. In 2010, 54% um, of Swedish people had a very low or fairly low trust for the agency. That's, that's really bad. That's the burning platform that motivated them to, to take us in, sort of. And, uh, and when you uh, compare it to the same um, quant uh, quantitative measurements uh, in 2012, uh, it's only 36%. It's still pretty bad, but it's, it's, um, it's big enough to really be proof um, that they have gone through an important transformation. So these people that has very low trust or, or fairly low trust uh, went down. And if you look at the, um, the number for how many people that had large or fairly large trust for the agency, it went from 13% in 2010. Uh, that was the wrong arrow. <clears throat> uh, up to 22% in 2012, which is also uh, very, very positive. And, uh, um, yeah, really, really nice for Swedish people. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, when they became centralized, uh, it, their, uh, their driving force was really to, uh, to, to uh, um, security, um, what do I want to call it, like legal type of security. They hired a lot of lawyers to get them in place. And the focus was the organization. Um, to kind of make it uh, one organization. <clears throat> and uh, in 2008, their, their driving force was efficiency. Um, and and their, their focus was on, on the production and the in internal processes. Um, but uh, since 2012, it's, 
it's um, they've, they've re rechanged it. Um, and, and this is why I wanted to show that paradigm shift uh, picture, because I think this illustrates that a lot. And it's uh, now uh, one um, Försäkringskassan uh, efficient for the customer. These, these two words, uh, for the customer, is very, or it's two words in Swedish. It's very important. And the driving, for, uh, driving force here is, is the trust, trust uh, amongst the Swedish people. And, uh, and the focus is the customer. And their uh, kind of strategic uh, words are human, safety, trust. And uh, <clears throat> now they, they really are uh, customer centered. And, uh, and, and these important numbers um, about trust and about customer satisfaction will, will continue to rise as more and more gets implemented. Uh, um, that was. Um, um, that was pretty much what I had to show, but I, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, to hear about the, the transformation that, uh, that uh, the Swedish social insurance agency has, has gone through and, uh, and to see a little bit about uh, um, some of the projects that, that we've done with them. Um, and uh, I think I have... Yeah, please, uh, <coughs> please co contact me. Uh, <laughs>